I get this at your service. Today I will neglect all adequate security measures and I'll show you where I live. Because you probably plan to go to Russia on the next weekend at some village called Horostyanka, at this coordinates and knock at my bedroom window at night so I can shit myself. Don't worry, now I will simplify this task for you as much as possible. There are different houses in Russian villages and mine is one of them. Just a regular house of my regular Russian family and I invite you to visit it. We are heading inside on this time code, so rewind if you're not curious about what is in our what is in our rustic backyard. Here is not a lot of things. Barbecue where my dad cooks, shashlik and veggies. And a gazebo like this, which he built himself. This is where our family have dinner than the weather permits. Today it is crayfish that our friends call in the local river. <laughs> we just basically have some apple trees, some cherries. It is September, so all apples already fall down. This is a little bathhouse which we started building in Russian. It is Banya. And today is Saturday and that means what we're gonna use it. At Russian villages, it's just like a dream to have a banya next to your house. We have a banya day, then you and your family gathering, and you all go to bath house to suffer in the heat and feel pleasure because of that. <laughs> this is the things which we use to beat each other. We just put it in hot water for some time and it becomes soft and hot and we beat each other with these drumsticks. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes in this video since I'm not using scenario. Make yourself at home but don't forget that you are a guest. This is the first room of our house and we call it cold corridor because obviously it is cold. It is always cold because we don't have here the heating system and the houses in Russia should be very well heated because winters here are deadly. For the wall perimeter of the house we have a really huge batteries to make this wall house warm at winter. Here we have some old shoes what we use in the garden. This is the second room and it is also cold and this we use for like clothing, storage of my bicycle and also storage of some compote mojito. This is my grandma made. She didn't want to interrupt me. Basically we put here anything cold or that doesn't fit in the kitchen. Watermelon. And now we are moving to the main hall. Oh, <laughs> this thing I used to film my video. This paintings was really popular in Russia to use because, oh my god, it's so creative. It's like, it's painting, but the sparkle. <laughs> you know, some paintings are getting more expensive after some time, but I think this painting is just getting old. Oh, by the way, this is Domovoy. This is like Russian fiction character. Domovoy, Domovionek. This is something like a creature housekeeper. And we have a few of them in the house. One close to the entrance because my mama believed that if you have them in their house, they're gonna make it cozy. And they can be good if you like respect them. <laughs> or they can be bad if, uh, I don't know, you do something wrong, I guess. And they can steal your stuff. So sometimes then we lose something. We say, you played this this please give it back we also have this thing which is not working that is actually scaring me how to turn it off this like in horror movies i don't like it of course uh, we have next to it stop scaring me we have next to the door always this patkova this is like sign of luck there is also some shoes and also home slippers because in russian houses you never walk in the shoes like Never. I just really cannot imagine like the situation when you come in Russian house and you are not removing your shoes. I can remember and imagine only one situation that Russians are allowed to wear shoes in the house and this is funeral. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like in this village, I walked in someone's house in the shoes only if I was coming to funerals. And another painting. We tried to design, but we don't. We did not try it our best. This is second the Mavoy. He is for keeping money. We put there some things. <laughs> Here is the doors to bathroom and the toilet. Of course, I'm gonna show you the toilet. Блин! 
Blinsky, blin. Blin. The worst feeling ever. By the way, these socks, uh, my grandma is making them. I love to them. The they're them. They're them. They're so warm because now it's September and it's getting cold in here and we just turned on the heating and the house didn't have enough time to warm completely. So the floors is still cold. I will show you now our kitchen, but just keep in mind that this is occupied with my family and it's gonna be loud and most probably I will not be able to say there anything. This is our collection of of the bells we just bring it from different cities of russia because we travel only in russia here are some cooking books this is chiburashka wow какова красота this is also chiburashka it's like really popular fictional character in russia cartoon character this is our kitchen I'll open the drawers a little bit so you can compare the mess in the Russian village house with the mess in your house. The bag with another plastic bag. And per my mom's request, I'm obliged to say that it's usually cleaner here, just it's Saturday and we have a lot of guests. This is holy water, which is taken from George. 2023, the most fresh one. My parents, they use it to spray on the walls to keep the bad spirits away from our house. This is my dad's collection of old Soviet matches. And we have a lot of preparations of products that we collect in the forest and garden. For example, dried mushrooms that are good to use in the soups. And here we have a tea department. We really love to drink hot tea. My grandma, she brings us dry mint. And this is oregano that my mom collects in the forest. And a collection of magnets that traditionally our friends, acquaintances, acquaintances of acquaintances bring back from traveling. My family can't see dinner at home since it was getting too cold outside and they didn't oh, get it. I was filming, they asked me to hang them napkins. And I climbed up on the couch to show you these watches made in the Soviet Union and my dad said it still runs on the same Soviet battery watch he put and he got them. But never mind, he's just making fun of us. <laughs> This is our like living room. I just wanted to show you like my house, but uh, it happened what I just showed you my whole family. This is the bedroom of my parents. I'm just gonna show it quickly since it is there. I don't know, should I, should I even show that? Here is like a mess because my parents come here mostly at weekends and they just don't live here. They only, they only sleep here because in the house there is always something to do. They're always outside. They're building the Buff house. We are about to get very close with you. I'm about to invite you to my bedroom. This bedroom I used when I was teen. We got this house in 2010. There is a microphone on my face. By the way, if you're curious, we do own this house. Like, it's rare that you are renting houses or renting apartments in the villages. Mostly we own it because it is not expensive at all compared to an apartments in the Russian cities. Like, for example, this house I found an advertisement tonight at 3 a.m. I sleep today only four hours. This house cost six million rubles. We got this house in 2010 or something. It costed one million if I'm not mistaken. Only one million, yes. So about my bedroom. I realize I talk a lot just because I feel insecure about showing it. Okay guys, you're also the part of my family now, so... Uh... Finally, we are alone. And um, please remember, I have all these toys. It's not because I'm weirdo. Then I turned 18, I moved from here to the city. So here, nothing changed. Not working anymore, it used to play. <gasps> It's been a minute since he's playing. I cannot, I cannot film. Everything in this house distracting me. Yes, again some cuffs. I should never open this.
I painted anime. <laughs> I'm gonna regret making this video, gonna hide it after. Every time you push this toy, it was making some cat sounds and was doing like... How I was not traumatized. This doll, which looks like Annabelle, uh, it was gifted by my grandma and uh, she told me she looks like me. There was quite popular in Russia and there was quite expensive, so even though she's a little scary, she's sweet, I love her. We better don't make her angry. And I'm gonna show you like my discs, uh, DVD, PC, PC DVD, how to call that. <laughs> this is just basically pirate discs with a lot of games like in this village it was not possible to buy some original discs so I'm pretty sure they're all fake as you can see yeah I'm obsessed with sims so I had a lot of pirate sims games by the way this is the batteries this is really huge and now my parents hear this sound and my dog also, so he's coming here. Here is some other books because I was obsessed with reading when I was at school. Now I read only weird fanfics, Harry Potter fanfics. Here is photos of my best friends with our volleyball team of my cat. And this is quote says what you need to fight for your happiness and sometimes even with yourself. And I place it in here, then I was passing EGE exam to my university because I needed to fight with myself and prepare for exams. And by the way, here, this is my Harry Potter obsession. Here is a letter from Hogwarts. And here is my address. Hogwarts Express. Oh, I'm gonna cry. And of course, oh, spotlight workbook. This is my English workbook. Let me show you something. I have a lot of books. To prepare for this exams. This is scary. It was made to make a fin this part, but that's not how I use it. This is the ro roller coaster of my childhood. I did not visit Disneyland or amusement parks that much, but I did not need it to. I literally can spend here my whole day. <laughs> here is my old gloves, and it is mostly from my school years again. All things which we wear only at the garden, because here is nothing else to do and my old dresses which i do not wear anymore look at this fancy schmancy dress oh my god everything is broken here easter everything is broken but everything is mine sweet mcdonald's memory gonna sell it Gonna say that they're expensive after some time. After people forget that there was McDonald's in Russia. This is my security system. My minerals correction. I was growing minerals by myself with my friend. This one will also grow. I know you clicked this video not to look at my minerals collection. This bear, at one moment it became really popular for boyfriends to give these big bears to their girlfriends. I never had a boyfriend, so my grandma gifted me this dog. Just I've been talking about this bear, but I started thinking about my dog, because this is bear of my dog. Her name is Bella, Bella Swan, and my dog, he used her in some weird way before he was castrated. 
just please let me know if this video was interesting for you i really have no idea does it all make sense i wanted to make some informative video for you so you can see how regular russian family live in a village but turns out i just i just say a lot of weird stories should i continue making videos like that or i better prepare better next time and as always i want to thank my patrons and boosters because this video was sponsored by no one only them and thank you so much agents for watching this videos go watch our ones take care of yourself пока пока